when did you um, get transferred over so the case wasn't yours anymore? Uh, I believe it was 2010. And how was that after being, you were on it for four years, uh, you had great enthusiasm for the case. <coughs> You probably thought, you know, if I could solve this, it'd be a great feather in my cap. Right. Uh, how was it to give it up? You know, it was it was it was difficult, uh, but I took a promotion back to um, Washington D.C. So, um, in fact, the guys back here played a big joke on on uh, on me. Uh, they they said um, that the case was solved and they were going to close the case, and uh, I'm like, well, what do you mean it's solved? And so. Uh, our media coordinator, uh, Fred Goot, he, he got in on this thing and they had built this whole story and sent me a press release from the office. They got my, my um, uh, unit chief and my section chief on board with it. My section chief called me up, was like, oh, this is amazing, they solved the case. And, and at first I was like, oh no, this isn't, this isn't you're, you guys are messing with me. But then when they sent the press release and then my section chief called me and said, oh man, they solved the D.B. Cooper case. What do you feel about that? I'm like, it's not solved. It's <laughs> not solved. You know, and then of course, once, once everybody got me so worked up that I was like going out of my mind, they go, ah, you're through just kidding. Yeah, everybody knows though that the FBI you just have no sense of humor. Did you know he was a Cooper suspect? I know who he is. Absolutely, he's got the skill set. This is our suspect.